One of the nicest things that we get to do is recognize the products of the Montgomery County Public School System. And today we have, and the best part about this is, this is a young man who, is, who has produced a project that I can barely read the title of, much less understand what it says. Uh, but um, Andrew ha is a uh, grand prize winner in the National Siemens Competition. And with him, we have his folks and uh, the principal of Blair High School. He is a senior, um, and he won the grand prize in the individual category of the National Siemens Competition in Math, Science, and Technology. Uh, last December, he was awarded a $100,000 scholarship, way to go, MCPS, for his project entitled, and this is what I love, Cryptographically Secure Proxy Bidding in Ascending Clock Auctions. Of course, yeah. uh, whereby Andrew developed a crypto, cri cryptographic protocol designed to pr protect online auctions from threats, including collusion and fraud, by ensuring privacy. And note to self, let's let, let Amazon yeah, know about exactly. this. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this semen competition encourages high school students, you bet, to explore their scientific interests and offers the opportunity to win a college scholarship ranging from 3000 up to what? Uh, Andrew has received. Uh, Andrew is passionate about research and aspires to design new algorithms, God help us, we need those, and protocols that will make the world safer and more efficient. Uh, and in his free time, he's captain of the school's computer team and economic, uh, and on, captain in the economics club? Of course, captain in the economics club and of course plays tennis. Uh, he was a finalist in the 2017 Moody's Mega Math Challenge a national team-based math modeling competition and came in third in the 2016 High School Forensics Challenge, one of the largest high school cybersecurity events. Uh, let's agree, Andrew is the kind of guy who is going to take us into the future. Uh, way to go, Andrew. Uh, let me hear from uh, my colleagues. So Andrew, I had a chance to talk to you at the beginning, but as a fellow blazer as a fellow uh, graduate of the math science computer science let me say i pale in comparison to you. <laughs> <laughs> let me just say how exciting it is to see what we continue to fight for every single day here in montgomery county and that is that we give our children the ability to dream and be able to accomplish so many things and regardless of what that pathway may take you on regardless of what your career uh, may be uh, you should be able to be the best and we certainly have one of the best here in front of us. And so it makes us so proud. I know that Principal Johnson, you can't be more proud uh, of the tremendous uh, cadre of students that you produce. And it really is a testament to our support as a community. We as Montgomery County have said, education is a priority for us here and we will invest in our students. And that's what we do with each and every budget as we're about to embark on a new one this year. We continue to do the same thing and double down on that investment to make sure that our future is bright. I will just say one thing, and it's incredibly important. When you talk about uh, the type of projects uh, that uh, Andrew's working on, uh, when you think about cybersecurity, that's at the forefront right now. Um, a little small company called Equifax could certainly, I'm sure, uh, <laughs> benefit from some of your research. And so it really is one in which this is the future for us. Uh, it's the reason why we've invested in our schools and in our cybersecurity center right here in Montgomery County. And so it really is a testament to what's going on in our schools and how we can continue to do great things. And so congratulations to you, Andrew. And now I'll turn it over to your district council member, Council Member Hucker. Thank you, Council Member Rice. Uh, yeah, I think we all pale in comparison. Uh, we can confirm that. Um, Andrew, I, everything's been said, but congratulations. I'm, I couldn't be more proud as your district council member. Congratulations to you and your, your parents and your whole family, because none of us, we all know none of us succeed by ourselves. We're all a product of the environment uh, in which we, uh, we're working and, and living. And, um, you know, this is, this, while Andrew's accomplishment is magnificent, it's only the latest in the uh, amazing achievements we continue to see from our students at Montgomery Blair High School. So congratulations, Principal Johnson and all the staff there that have created a, such a great environment for learning. So thank you all for, uh, for recognizing Andrew today. So uh, uh, Principal Johnson would like to say a word. You can tell everybody about your very good day. Yes, I've had a great day, but I want to thank the council for recognizing Andrew Como. I did say when I came this morning, um, I had three full 
um, scholarship for my football players. We, they signed this morning with uh, great universities. And so then I rushed off here to the council to recognize Andrew and his amazing accomplishment. I do call him my STEM superstar because not only did he uh, win $100,000 from Seaman, but he's one of four finalists in our Regeneron competition. So he also recently won 25000 from Regeneron. And we hope that in March he wins, or one of my Blazers, will win <laughs> the $250,000 prize. But All thank right. you, Council, for your support of education, and thank you, families, for your support. And it really is about great teachers in public schools. Thank you. It is indeed. It is, it is indeed. Well, you're, we're so proud of you, Ms. Johnson. We're so proud of Andrew, and we're so proud of all our kids at MCPS. But now this is your turn to take the stage, Andrew. Come, come like say a few yours. words, maybe explain your project. Like for, think of this as <laughs> cryptology for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> not not yeah, that go, for go me. Slow. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so my project, <laughs> um, and just a simple idea, is that there are these really large, complicated auctions that take place online. I built something that helps make them secure against right. any sort of attack. Um, so I want to thank my parents for you know supporting me for everything. Um, I want to thank my mentor who actually helped guide me through this specific project, Lawrence Osbel. And then I'd also like to thank uh, Montgomery Blair and Montgomery Blair Magnet Program. So Ms. Johnson for supporting me, uh, Mr. Ostrander, the magnet coordinator, and Ms. Bossy, who's the research teacher, because Montgomery Blair has given me such a great community. I've been my home for four years and really helped inspire me and helped me grow. Thank you. Well said. Well, let me uh, start. We'll uh, share reading this uh, proclamation. Uh, we didn't put all the details in this one, but here we go. Whereas Andrew Como, a uh, senior at Montgomery Blair High School, won the 2017 National Siemens Competition in an individual category, receiving a $10,000 scholarship grand prize, and Whereas the Siemens Foundation established the Siemens competition in math, science, and technology in 1999, becoming the nation's premier competition for high school students and investing more than $10 million in scholarships in its 18-year run with hundreds of students benefiting as Siemens competition finalists. And? Whereas Andrew won for his project entitled Cryptographically Secure Proxy Bidding in Ascending Clock Auctions for Developing a Coded System that Can Be Used to Protect Large-Scale Online Auctions from Serious Threats, such as Cheating and Fraud, Allowing These Auctions to Be Conducted with Increased Transparency, Fairness, and Security, and Whereas... Uh, the 2017 Siemens competition winners were announced last December at George Washington University in Washington, D.C., and Andrew was selected as the grand prize winner for more than 2,000 high school students. Uh, now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby honors and congratulates Andrew C C Como for being the grand prize winner of the 2017 Siemens competition in math, science, and technology, presented this 13th day of February in the year 2018, and signed by our council president, Hans Raymer. So, way to go. Thank you. Congratulations, Andrew. And now we have the official photograph. 